Hello, so we are back, and this time with another test, but this one it will be pleasant, okay? So uh, it's not that hard, but you have to have that kind of knowledge. So what do we have here? Here we have a FM transmitter, and uh, what do I have here? You know, I have that kind of dongle, I can receive any FM signal. So uh, what are we going to do? Let's test it first, okay? Let me open the program. Okay, so the program is open. Let's start the program. So I will power off my microphone. I will power off the microphone. And I'll activate the microphone from this, uh, this transmitter. Uh, so, uh, you can hear me? This is the FM transmitter making some noise can you hear me now okay so this is the FM transmitter and uh, the sound is not great but it's working okay and you can see the signal here you can see that's our frequency what uh, is running now okay so the, the FM transmitter is working now what I will do let me switch. Okay, what I will do now is I will remove one component from this FM transmitter. I will remove one component and I will replace with another component. Let me remove the component. I will show you the place where the component it is. One second. Okay, so first, let's try to understand this board. This is a FM transmitter, it's from AliExpress, it's around uh, two pounds, very cheap. So let's understand the schematic first, okay? We have the microphone here. Here we have plus, minus, and the antenna. Now, I will explain you simple. This is the, we can divide this uh, board in three separate parts. So first is the microphone and the preamp. You can see it's a it's a it's a, a transistor which is just amplifying the audio signal. So what do we have here? We have a microphone with an amplifier inside. So inside has a transistor which is amplifying the audio signal from the capsule. Yeah. The amplifier is powered by this resistor. Yeah. So the audio the is powered by this resistor, so this uh, circuit is going to the collector from the amplifier inside. So the audio signal is coming here through this capacitor on the base of this transistor. Yeah, the emitter of the transistor is connected through ground uh, using this resistor. We have uh, one mega ohm resistors between the base and collector to polarize the, to bias the transistor. Yeah. Then we have the collector is going. We have another resistor here. And the audio signal is going to amplify from here to here. So this is our first part. Actually, we can remove completely this part because the next part is the oscillator. <coughs> is the part which is creating the FM. So like how I said, this is the, the limit. So what do we have here? We have a transistor. Has a capacitor to, has a capacitor to ground. Here we have a resistor for bias. Yeah, so this is the base of the transistor. Then we have on the collector of the transistor, we have a coil, we have adjustable capacitor and another capacitor. Then on the emitter, we have a resistor, a capacitor, and the signal is pulled out from here and is going forward to the last part, which is the RF amplifier. Now, from this, we can divide this schematic like, like that, okay? We can divide it because the last uh, part is just a pure amplifier, RF amplifier. So this, the oscillator, yeah, it's missing one component, this one from here, from between the collector and the emitter. So here is supposed to be one component. Without this component, this transistor, it will not oscillate. Yeah, so it will not, I can assure you, if I test it now, it's not working. So I just remove the component. So we need one component between the collector and the emitter. Otherwise, this, it will not work. So like how I said, the audio signal is coming uh, to this oscillator 
through this capacitor and it will modulate in frequency yeah, this, uh, this transistor which is also the oscillator. Yeah? So here he has a coil, adjustable capacitor, another capacitor, but this component is critical. This component which is supposed to be here is critical. The transistor it will not oscillate whatever you know it will not oscillate at all without this component okay now just to show you forward this is not important the signal the rf, RF, RF signal is is pulled out from here then it's going onto the base of this transistor on the collector we have a coil and the antenna and the emitter is going to ground this is just the amplifier the fm transmitter it will work even Without this, yeah, it will work without this. Yeah, we can remove this part completely. And also we can remove this part completely. And we can connect, uh, I don't know, this is very sensitive. We can connect the microphone straight here, yeah, removing this. So uh, the question is, what is the component which has to be there, okay? I'm really sorry, not what the, I know what, and you can figure it out what is the component which has to be there. It's what it will be, the component I will use it, yeah? So give me one second, I will solder my component, my secret component there. Remember we learned uh, long wires on RF are actually coils, so I'll solder on the board my secret component. Give me one second, and after that we can test again the, the transmitter. One second. Okay, so we uh, uh, so we solder our secret component there. Let me change the microphone. Okay, so now you can hear me uh, using the FM transmitter. So this is with my secret component. This is how it's how it's working. Okay. So. My secret component is soldered here. You can see exactly on the place I show you. What is my secret component? That's the question. Can you figure it out what secret component do we have soldered here? You can see I have two pins there soldered. Hmm? Leave me a comment, but this time leave me a comment like sorry not only it's a coil no it's a coil or it's an inductor it's a center diode or it's a normal diode or it's a short key diode uh, it's a capacitor uh, ceramic capacitor it's an electrolytic capacitor yeah something like that it's a transistor it's a mosfet whatever okay so i'm just curious and i'm, I'm really really curious to see uh, people answering on this uh, on this test because uh, obviously here in, it's you know each side is a little bit of experience working with something like that and uh, there will be some people they know what is between the collector and the em emitter of the oscillator but I want to tell me exactly what it is I don't want to tell me how it's working I just want to tell me exactly what do you think it is? Okay. So I will stop now. Let's see if the people can figure it out. What component, not what component was there. What component I'm using there to have this oscillated working. Okay. So I'll say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video and uh, leave a comment. Bye.